Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. I am feeling a special kind of way today. I really, really am feeling a special kind of way. With everything that has happened and all of the drama, what's gonna happen? Like I wonder from this point, we, we see all this information released in the courts with Megan and everything, but is this really going to be a game changer? Is she going to be able, she and her husband going to be able to just ride off into the sunset with their lies trailing right behind them? <laughs> and nobody says anything. They'd be like, ooh, they got lies. They got lies. Like people watching the lies, following them all behind them. But people just like they just walk in and acting like they don't see the lies. The lies is behind them and they just gonna keep it going. They just gonna keep it going. There's these horrible insights about their behavior. It really is at a point now where we have seen this coming from a while ago we have seen it and the people that come in contact with harry and megan like what are you going to do those who are approached to have a, a business deal to to do something together are you going to just completely ignore her character and just just keep working with them as if nothing's happened because what happens is is the people that work with them the people that are giving them their val that are validating them essentially are saying okay we, we know about the lies we can we understand what they have done or we're just going to keep working with them and just hope that it goes away. Are we going to ignore the lies? Are we going to ignore the way she has treated people? It it really is one of those things that people have to wake up and take a stand for their their morals and who they who they're going to work with. Now, I am going to be reading this story um, that came out and I've wondered about this, you know, in the reporting of the emails that came out in the court case, there was talk about other people. You really get to see how Megan was trying to set a narrative for the whole world to see that would be undermining her sister and her family. And when you see this, you really have to wake up and you have to understand that this is something that is very serious. It's serious to treat people like this and expect to not have repercussions or to not have any backlash behind it. Like if you can just continue doing things that are wrong and mistreating people, grossly abusing mentally other people that you want to hurt. If you can continue doing those things and the people that have access to you don't call you out for it, they are allowing this behavior to continue with other people. And this is how I'm looking at this whole thing with Megan and her sister, Samantha. It, the question becomes why, why we all know people have family rivalries. They have issues with family, but when you make a conscious effort, and choice to undermine somebody to to, to to dig the knife in just like mm, I don't like you I'm gonna say you this and I'm gonna make you sound horrible and ooh, I'm gonna really like mess you up in a special kind of way mentally mentally do that to someone okay you have some serious psychological problems that need to be addressed yeah, you do. And that's why I want to talk about what's going on. Sibling rivalry. Meghan Markle's half-sister accuses Duchess of PR smear and blast her grandiose image. Grandiose. This is just like, I'm the Duchess and I'm special. I'm going to whip out the race car. Racist. You got me? She'll use that race car, yes she will. Samantha has hit out at the Royals' grandiose image as the Duchess faces a week of bombshell courtroom drama. And it is drama. It is so much drama. It is embarrassing that she has come into this royal family and look at the soap opera. Look at how demeaning and how she has undermined this family, how she has put this family in turmoil. And Harry is just walking along, allowing it, and he's over in America and like, I'm living the American dream. I'm living the dream, y'all. I'm British. I'm in America. Is that what we're seeing? 
because I can live the American dream. It is. I'm living a dream. It's exactly what we're seeing. Now, Samantha has told her fury after she has discovered Macon in an email that she had lost custody of all three of her children from different fathers. Now, listen to this, you guys. Megan is a woman who is out advocating for women and children. But yet behind the scenes, what does she do? What does she do behind the scenes? She she she, she wants to kick someone and, and, and really smear them as being somebody who is not worthy. She talks about even not knowing Samantha in public, but behind the scenes, she like she got the details. <laughs> she got the details and uh, she's gonna pull out the details because these details are gonna help elevate her and how she sees herself and how she is portrayed. How is this okay? The note of uh, to her former aide, Jason Knopf, emerged amid a legal battle with the Mail on Sunday. Samantha, who has been estranged from Megan for years, said the hurtful claim is revealing. And it is revealing. It's very revealing about Megan's character. That you can say such nasty things in an email so that the information that you put in that email can be put in a book and that book can be sold to millions of people and that you try to smear your sister on a global stage for the world to see and then act like, oh, I don't, they, they wrote that? Like act like you don't even know where they came from while well, you're the one behind it the whole time. And at this point, it is, it is really incumbent of the people that work with Megan, that become in contact with her, that if they continue to partner with her and her husband and to do things that are around family values and empowering women, and she's doing these kinds of things behind people's backs, this is low down dirty. It's despicable. It's, it's, it's horrible. Why would, why, why would you do that? Samantha told the Telegraph to see Jason Knopf's evidence was shocking. I never lost custody of my kids. This is Samantha talking. No court record on the planet would confirm that. Megan has continually said lies about her sister. To take personal matters and to then spend them in an ugly way to discredit me is pretty tacky. Now you guys have to understand, this is a woman who is trying to be a humanitarian, to, to, to fight for those who don't have a voice. And she talks like this about someone that is her half sister. Why? Everyone from Trevor Engelson, Megan's first husband who have been good to her, she has a disgusting way of disposing, stepping on and silencing them. The public will form an appropriate opinion of her based on her actions, her own actions. People do not like to be lied to and manipulated. She's going to have to live with that. She's so grandiose and so self-sabotaged. Samantha said her father Thomas is now coming to terms with the fact that Megan actively briefed against him, even though he had initially wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. And we remember that Thomas taking up for his, his daughter trying to make it seem like it's not really her, like trying to cover up for her bad behavior because he himself didn't want to see her behaving like this. But it seems like he really has come to terms that his daughter is going to be this way because I think the power and the allure of celebrity, having that power, that grip, something that you fought for your whole life is so enticing and intoxicating for Megan that it's a high that she has to constantly keep seeking. And the more she's in the news, the more she can feel validated by people giving her a stage to speak on, inviting her to events, announcing her with this title that was bestowed upon her by the queen. The more she is able to, to have these things to fuel her addiction of celebrity and power and attention, the more she will continue to undermine other people to keep herself above and on this high because the girl is high. The girl is high and intoxicated with power. And who's given her the drug of choice? Her husband, her husband's Harry. And it makes her feel good to see her nonchalantly say that she wants to see this added and that added like items on a lunch menu was astonishing, Samantha said.
She's got an appetite for her own sense of empowerment by doing damage to others. That's right. It's like she, she, she feels like she can do things to other people because it makes her feel good. This is like, ooh, give me the drug. And they, these drugs of celebrity and power and importance and things that she needs to fuel to keep doing the things that she's been doing and to undermine and hurt people that were once loved ones in her life. In a series of tweets about the court revelations, um, Samantha suggested that their father should sue Megan and that she herself was searching for a lawyer. The emails reveal, as we saw, that she had a hand in doing it. And she was like writing on a list. Okay. Okay. She had this and say this about my sister and say, this. ooh, yeah, and say this. Ooh, that makes me feel good. Yeah, I'm going to say that too. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that and I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. And then she gets on the world stage and she's like, I always just stood up for what was right, you know, and your ethics and your values. And I don't know, I show up in the same way that I always have. So that something that's salacious is more interesting and gets more pickup and can be monetized. Right. So that ends up being the thing that feeds the entire environment, what you were putting out there. Because you could just like it or dislike it. Now you either like it or you have to say something negative. And it's just adding to this really unfortunate cycle that is, um, that I think is having a, a ripple effect on women across the board in this case or in the other things we've been talking about today at a certain point no matter how difficult it is if you know the difference between right and wrong you must stand up for what's right and that's what i'm doing right so she's going to sit on this in this world stage and, and be validated and being able to like talk and and sound important and do all these different things but yet all the while behind the scenes using uh like 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 samantha said a, a a menu writing out things of what to say nasty about people in her family like like who who in the world you cannot write this this girl has got everybody sinking to new lows she has been given an opportunity and don't know how to behave herself. She, she, she didn't, didn't gone buck wild in forest, y'all. She didn't gone crazy, lost her mind. And somebody needs to reel it in. Like you cannot continue to fuel this kind of behavior. You cannot continue to say here, go speak here and go speak there and come to this party and oh, write a review about you doing such wonderful things. And oh, we want to see pictures of the baby. And you know, we want to go look and interview you about your new book. Look, like people have to stop fueling this mad woman because she essentially is a mad woman. And the more she is fueled by the attention that people are giving her where she can make her perpetrate her her nice image, the more horrible things she is going to continue to do behind the scenes like what she did about th with this. So last year, the shishish. Even released a statement saying that they were not interviewed and did not contribute to the book. Just lying all day long. You go and then you're gonna say you forgot. Like this has to be major news, breaking news everywhere. And in America, let me just let me just say something. I was listening to Morning Joe. Morning Joe had a little blurb about it. I was waiting for them to come back from the commercial to talk about it. Do you, you think they came back from the commercial and talked more about it? No, it was just a blurb. All the Dutchess lied. Papers came out in the court. Uh, and uh, yeah, how about those Yankees y'all going off on to the next story? Do you think they continue to talk more about the story about Megan and the court documents and the papers? No. She had urged Mr. Knopf to disclose that her siblings had dropped out of high school and that she had never had a relationship with either of them. Like she said this, y'all, and we got proof and we got pictures. But people still going to be like, well, where's the touches? Of where is she at? Y'all, we want to talk to her. All the while knowing that this woman has gone behind the back of her family and wrote mean derogatory things about them to be put in a book. And we're not going to listen and pay attention to this. And we're going to continue to fuel this woman who is essentially high on power and prestige and titles. Like she is literally high as a kite with that title in front of her name. The girl is so high, she can't even probably walk straight half the time. She think about it. Oh, I got the title of the Duchess of Sussex. And this is a woman who says she was bullied. She is going to bully secretly her own family. 
There has to be a very deliberate discussion about who Meghan Markle is because it will only get worse from here.